Hi there! Welcome to October Favorites. As always, I have both beauty and lifestyle favorites to share with you this month. Unfortunately, this month I also have a bit of very bad personal news to share with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you're already aware of what's going on, but I really couldn't go forward with my videos without talking about this and sort of letting you in on what's going on in my family. So about 10 days ago, my father-in-law was diagnosed with ALS, um, more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. We've known um, something very serious was going on for a while now, probably since about February, uh, but it's been lots and lots of tests, lots of different specialists um, trying to get to the bottom of it. It's sort of one of those diagnoses that's more of a process of elimination than something very specific. So. Um, it's come as a great shock to us. We thought for a long time that he probably just had some sort of stroke and then it turned out as he went through the testing process that wasn't the case. So uh, we got that final diagnosis, like I said, about 10 days ago and as you can imagine, our whole family's pretty shell-shocked. It, um, it, it's made us sad. It's made us um, angry. <laughs> it's made us um, really pull together. We're definitely circling the wagons right now. And basically, I'm telling you all this because, as you can imagine, this is going to have an impact on my channel. Um, my family is my priority, and I have to be there for them. We need to all come together right now. We all need each other. We all have different responsibilities right now, things that we are going to be pulling together to work on. Uh, our first order of business is my father-in-law has an upcoming appointment with an ALS center on the west coast, uh, west coast of the state, I should say. And so we're going to start there and see if they can help us kind of figure out the first things that we need to do. But there's going to be a lot of work for all of us to do. And we can't really predict right now what this is going to mean as far as our future in the short term. There's going to be a lot of changes and um, we're just going to have to sort of be flexible and be able to, you know, tackle things as they come up. So I'm not, you know, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm still going to be making videos. I had some really fun things planned that I'm really excited to share with you. But this is, you know, this is a big part of my life and it's something that is definitely going to have an impact on my channel going forward because I can't um, say for sure that I'm going to be able to post on a regular basis, at least not in the near future, but I'm going to do my very best to keep things as consistent as possible. But um, for all of you who left me really nice messages on Instagram, I really appreciate it. We could definitely use all of your prayers and encouragement and good thoughts and whatever you are able to send our way in that regard, we would certainly appreciate it. It's a really difficult time, but we are still very, very grateful for all of our blessings. So we are going to keep our um, positivity, we're going to stay hopeful, and we are definitely going to keep our good sense of humor because that is going to get us a long way right now. So. Anyway, I'm sorry I had to get all that out front. I try to keep things positive on this channel, but you know, this is something that I just can't avoid talking about because it is um, the major thing that's going on right now. Okay, let's move on to some happier things, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna start with my beauty product favorites. I think I have a few more of those this month than I do lifestyle favorites. The first one I want to talk about is a couple of nail polishes. I believe I've posted both of these on Instagram, but I just love them both. And one of them was kind of a surprise to me because I sort of regretted it after I bought it until I tried it and then I really liked it. So these are two nail polishes from Essie. This is uh, Essie in the Lobby and this one is Frock and Roll. So In the Lobby was an instant favorite. I knew right away this was something that I wanted, but Frock and Roll was something that after I bought it, I kind of thought, oh, did I make a bad decision about that? But then once I wore it, I really, really loved it. So let's start with In the Lobby. That is what I am wearing on my nails today. I have been searching for a color like this. It seems like for years, I always wanted like this beautiful, deep, purpley wine color. I think they call this a cinnamon a cinnamon berry color. I think that's a pretty accurate description. I don't see a lot of brown in it, but I can kind of see how they would get that. But I just think this is a quintessential fall color. I've wanted one like this for such a long time. You could, now you could get away with one coat of this, but you'd have to lay it on pretty thick. I do too, but it covers really nicely. It's not streaky at all, and it wears like crazy. I put this on a couple of weeks ago, and I was so surprised at how well it wore on my nails, especially for such a dark color. So I am going to try to put 
put links down below to these. I know that they were part of the fall edition, but if I can find some place where at least you can see it, I will try to do that. Okay, now as far as frock and roll goes, this is a little bit different color. This is a little bit of a gray mixed with purple, and then it has a silver shimmer to it, a very small micro shimmer. It kind of appears almost blackened on the nails a little bit. Uh, what they said something, oh, they said on the description of this on the Etsy site that this was actually an espresso based color. I, knowing that, I guess I can kind of see that in different lights, but I really just don't get the espresso color from it. I really just see more purple. And as a matter of fact, I went into my husband and I went to natural light and I said, now tell me what your first thought is if you had to pick a color that you feel like it's most closely related to. And he said purple also. But if you um, like a darker nail polish with a little bit of shimmer, the shimmer on this you can really only see in the natural light, but it does give it a little something extra. And I think it's really pretty. So whether you like just a dark polish or you want something a little bit interesting, I think you'll really enjoy this. It's very, very different than anything else that I have. And again, this is Frock and Roll and this is in the lobby. Both really great colors. All right, so a couple of new hair products this month. So I was out of hairspray and I went to Ulta and they were having a sale. I think it was buy two items, get the third free. And so I decided to try a different hairspray because I mentioned to you in last month's favorites that I had a fail with the Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray, I believe it was. It was on sale, um, I want to say it was $5 each. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's not right. But in any case, I despise it. I don't like it at all. Um, so I wanted to get something else and I went back to something I'd used years ago and I really cannot remember why I stopped using this, but I picked up the Redken Quick Dry 18. Now I'm really, after using this, now I'm really wondering why I stopped using it. This is fantastic. I think, I was trying to think about it and I want to say that maybe when I used it before I had a lot of problems with the nozzle clogging. I don't know if they changed their formula or they figured out a better nozzle, but that has not been the case anymore. Now I've only been using it for two to three weeks now, I would say, but I have not noticed any nozzle clogging on this. It's got a very fine mist. It dries very quickly as the name would indicate. It's easy to brush through. It's not a flexible super light hold, but it's not a super hold either. I didn't say that very well. It's not a light hold, but it's not a super hold. It's somewhere a medium in between. I think they say this is a max control. I think I have things that are a lot more firm hold than this, but for every day, for me, this is absolutely perfect and I love it. I cannot recommend this enough. I don't think the smell is awesome, but it's not as bad as that Sebastian Shaper Plus was. And it's also um, not any worse than my Purology. And I love the Purology. I think it's a great hairspray, but this is less expensive and I think it does a better job. So I really, really like this and would recommend it. The next thing that I want to talk to you about um, is another hair styling product. And this is the Guts 10 Volume Spray. So I talked to you a while back about the Alterna Caviar Daily Densifying Foam. That is my holy grail volumizing product. The problem is, is that it's quite expensive. So what I wanted to do is not find a replacement for that product, but I wanted to find an alternative that I could work into my everyday routine. So on days when um, I still want to have a little bit of volume in my hair, it does make it easier for me to style when I have a little bit of product in, but maybe I don't want to use the alternative because I want to try to preserve that and make it last as long as possible. So I talked with one of the sales associates at Ulta and she recommended Guts. I was looking at Guts and then another product. I'm going to try to put that down below so I can make sure that I tell you the difference. She felt like the other product that we were looking at was a little bit too sticky in the hair, and she really preferred this one. So I thought I would give it a try. It is a spray mousse. One drawback, it is a little bit messy. I've kind of had to figure out the best way to work with it. It almost looks like a flocking spray. If you've ever seen flocking that you put on holiday decorations and it kind of sprays out everywhere, it's a little bit like that or kind of like a fire extinguisher. So what I've started doing is when I spray this on my hair, I kind of hold my hand like this and I'll spray it to kind of shield it from going everywhere. You can also just spray this directly into the palm of your hand and apply it from there. It is a very lightweight mousse type product 
product. I don't get any stickiness. I don't get any stiffness. When I first started using it, I applied it just really scarcely onto my hair because I was so afraid about overdoing it. But now I just kind of go for it. It really does not have any effect on weighing down my hair or making it greasy or anything like that. It gives it just a little bit of something. I don't think it's as good as the Alterna, but for every day and to have an alternative to kind of make that the Alterna product go further, I will absolutely repurchase this Guts. I think it's fantastic for in between or for just, you know, alternating. All right, now let's move on to one more product that I absolutely cannot claim any credit for. This is 100% from Miss Crystal. Uh, go and check out her channel. I will link to it down below, but she put this out on Instagram and I went the next day to find these because I was out of cotton. So these are from CVS. These are the Beauty 360 Ultra Premium Cotton Squares. She said that these were extremely soft and I totally agree. If you are a fan of the Shiseido facial cottons I think you're really going to love these there's 150 cotton squares in here and I want to say it was between 350 and four dollars I will try to put a link to these down below so that you can see for yourself but very very nicely priced for a generous amount of products so here are the squares that's inside. They are the exact same size as the Shiseido. I actually had a couple of the Shiseido um, still here, so I compared them side by side. I kind of um, measured them, I rubbed them, I put them on my face. I really cannot tell any difference except for one very small thing that is so insignificant that I really don't care. I think the Shiseido might be a little sturdier. I think they may be a little bit more absorbent. So when I'm putting on eye makeup remover onto these pads, I think that they're not quite as hardy maybe as the Shiseido, but they work just as well and they are just as soft. So I really can't imagine that I would order the Shiseido again knowing these are available at CVS at such a good price. So thank you so much, Crystal, for pointing these out. I never would have known about them. I do also want to mention that when I went to CVS, they had cotton products, I think, in four different areas of the store, and it wasn't until I went to the last one that I actually found these. So in my store, these were in the makeup section all the way at the back along the wall. So um, it may take some looking around, so if you don't find them in the first place, just keep looking. But these are fantastic buy, and I'm so happy to have them. Okay, let's move on to lifestyle favorites. My first lifestyle favorite is a new pair of shoes. And these are technically running shoes, although I'm not a runner, I am just a walker, and I'm someone that enjoys being comfortable when I'm doing housework or running errands. So I picked these up. These are the Brooks Ghost 8 running shoes. So I'll try to give you a better look at these. These are the most comfortable pair of running shoes I have ever owned although I'm not a runner, <laughs> but I love these. I feel like I've got a spring in my step. They are so cushiony, they are so springy. They have such um, a, quite a bit amount of traction here on the bottom, so I don't slip and I'm very clumsy, so that's really good for me. They're great in wet conditions. They're great for just everyday dry conditions, but I cannot say enough good things about these. I've never had Brooks before. I've worn every brand out there. I used to be a really big fan of uh, Asics and I've also had a great pair of Adidas when I was a runner but these these really take the cake for me. I just love the color combination. I love the gray. My shoes tend to get really dirty so I always love it when I can find something with the gray um, as the majority of the color and then I like the hot pink and blue down here on the bottom. There are a couple other color choices I believe in this Ghost 8 and these are also I should mention a neutral cushioning shoe. I guess I don't pronate either way for if you are a runner and you're familiar with that. So these are just neutral. That's all that I require. So if you do need a stability type shoe, they do have other models. But for me, this is absolutely perfect. They are wonderful. I can't recommend them enough. When I go out for a walk, I like to have some things with me. So this is another item that I could not be without. I've actually had it for years, but I just thought it was worth mentioning because it is such an important item to me when I'm out. So I still want to have a house key. I still need to bring tissues with me. My nose may run or just, you know, different little odds and ends that you might want to have with you. So if you're not familiar with these, this is a great little gadget to have. This is a spy belt. I bought this one years ago at a local running store, but now you can find them on Amazon as well. They're not very expensive. I think this one was somewhere between $10 and $20. I think the prices have come down a little bit. But what it is, it's an adjustable belt that you can put around your waist. It's really easy to use. It just comes apart like this and you lock it back together and then you can adjust it with all these different 
uh, little clips here. And then the center is just a nylon, a stretchy nylon pocket kind of more like a spandex type material. It's got a zipper and it looks really small, but you can fit so much stuff in here. I used to be able to put a phone. Now that I have my iPhone 6 Plus, it, I think it is, I really can't fit that anymore, but you can still put quite a few things in here. Let me show you how much this stretches. So I can put car keys in here if you want to put pepper spray in here to bring with you. As I said, I always bring a little bit of tissue, but it's just a great little place to store anything and then you just clip it around your waist. I put it underneath my shirt. You can put it over your shirt, whatever you like, but they come in so many different colors. I've always had black because it just kind of blends in with my pants that I'm wearing so you don't really notice it. It does sit pretty flat up against your body so you may think that you're gonna have like a big hump sticking out but I really don't. Sometimes if I have more things in it I'll put it on my back but if I um, also need to get to things quickly I'll put it on my front but just one of those little accessories that I think is so great to have. This would also be good if you were just someone that wanted to have this with you every day for going out and not wanting to bring um, a bag that you had to carry or something like that you just want to be able to hide your keys underneath your shirt or something this would be a great way to do that or if you're a traveler now that I think about it this would be a nice way to maybe keep some cash and things close to you so that someone couldn't get to them my final favorite is one from my kitchen so there are two items in my kitchen that I absolutely rely on this time of year for making all of my favorite comfort foods the first one is my crock pot the second one is my La Creuset French oven I could not be without either of them. And it's funny because my husband has such a Pavlovian response when he sees my La Creuset French oven on the stove. He doesn't know what's in there, but he knows something good is happening and he knows he's gonna love it, whatever it is. I use it for so many things. I showed you um, in my recent spaghetti sauce video, I use it for that. I've used it for an entire chicken before. I use it for a brisket, uh, beef stew, really just anything that you would use a Dutch oven for. I chose this oval size a few years ago because it would accommodate a full chicken and I also know that a lot of times when I am cooking soups or chilies or stews I want to make big batches of it so that I can store it in my freezer so it's really important for me to have something if I could only have one piece because they are pricey I really wanted something with quite a bit of versatility. Now I do also want to say if you are interested in purchasing something like this I am going to put a link to it down below but I would really encourage you to try to find a La Creuset outlet near you. There's a lot of them in the premium outlet centers. You can get a much better deal on one than you could by using any link that I can provide you. So I wanna give you the links so that you can see the details, you can compare the sizes for yourself, but please do see if you have an outlet of something that this is uh, something that you want to add to your kitchen collection. I got mine, as I mentioned a few years ago, from the outlet. It still has the warranty. They still cover their warranty, but I think I got it for at least 40% off of what you could buy it for at full price. So it really is worth checking out if you have an outlet near you. So those are all of my favorites for the month of October. Thank you again so much for all of your kind words and prayers and thoughts. I am, as I mentioned in the opening, gonna do my very best to keep up things and kind of keep the flow going here, but understand that my family is my priority and we are all gonna be pulled in a lot of different directions and we all really have to be there for each other right now more than anything else. So thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.